Hey, hello guys, welcome along to a, a vlog type video. Um, I just wanted to use this make a video and um, just to keep you updated what's happening with my channel. I've, um, I've not really been much active at all in the last couple of weeks. I had all these plans, I even filmed videos. Um, big pile of Xbox 360 games, which I've found, I've not even I've not got the gameplay for that yet and I've not put it up yet. I'd filmed gameplay of retro stuff, but it's hadn't been put up yet. I kind of forgot about that. I was looking through my videos and I said, like, oh. And it's not because I've lost interest in YouTube or or any of that or gaming in general. Not at all. It's just I think it's just a case of um my busy kind of life getting in the way of of the filming. Eh? Um right, so first of all, let me apologise for um I don't think I've even went back and and reply to comments from the last video, which I always do. So, um, didn't think I'm ignoring you or being rude. I will be getting into that. I think what is it? It's a case of I think right. I'm going to do it next time. I've got a wee bit of time, and then that that tomorrow comes, and then yeah, they forget about it. Or you, I've not got a, a lot of time again. And it before you can, a week's went past, and then the week turns into two weeks, um, and that's what it is. I mean, I've I've said this before. You know, I'm a family guy. I've got four kids in here. My place is like a zoo at times. <laughs> um, nightmare trying to get some GTA played. Um, which, if you've got GTA, you can, you, you know, it's not a game you can play in front of your young kids with the swearing and, um, you know, the sexual acts in it and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I'm having to wait late at night to play that game. Um, aye, so let me apologise for no replying back to you guys. There's a couple of guys that have actually. And some guys have asked me questions and that, um, and waiting for a reply, and I've just not got back to you. And I just, I just think, right, in the morning, when I finish work, I'll, I'll do it, and then something happens, and then I'm away working late shifts and night shifts and all that kind of stuff, and I forget about it. So there's two Scottish guys, is it the Ryan's, Shand? He'd asked me about my Master System games, if I was selling any, and I'd never have replied back to the guy, so I apologise for that, and I will get into re replying. And um, another guy's um, Diggity Gaming. He's been trying to contact me and um, I just not been the right time. It's no good concentrating and speaking to somebody on, on Facebook or whatever other means we can talk to them. I've got kids going about and all that kind of stuff. So I always try and feel like I'll get into the speaking to these guys when I've not got kids in that about and it just never happens. So these two guys, I will, I will contact you. They think I'm ignoring you or, or that, eh? Um, it's just basically for life getting in the way. Like I say, eh? it's no, it's no case I'm losing interest in gaming because I, I, I still love my game anyway. Eh? Um, unbelievable amount of good games out there anyway. Eh? I mean, I'm still, I've not even finished the Last of Us yet. Last of Us, you can see behind me. I've no, still not finished that yet. Um, GTA Five. I've got Beyond Two Souls pre-ordered, so that's gonna be coming in two weeks time. Um, I'm looking to get one of the football games. Probably no FIFA. Probably PES. Um, so busy, busy, busy. The new system's obviously coming out, but I'm off, I'll not be getting one anyone day one. That's just I've got enough games to keep me keep me happy. Um, aye, so that's basically it. So I will get back round to you guys comments and that wise. I'd, like I said, I have made a couple of videos and I've just not put them up. I did make an Xbox 360 pickup video, which I've kind of deleted now because um, well, I hadn't even put it up. But I took it up my memory card because I've got another five, six games now. So I'll, I'll plan on doing that. I'm doing this because that's me hoarding the Invisible 360 games. <laughs> There's is a bit of pile that size. Um, so I'm planning on doing that. I did do some um, retro gaming. And it was just a case of putting commentary over the top of that. And I've just not done it. And that, that my, my idea was to get some retro gaming up. My favourite games from the past, you know, doing the last few generations. And that was my idea to put my favourite games up and talk about them and why why they were my favourite and my memories of them of playing these games. Um and also and I said this ages ago to put up three sixty gameplays and I've just not got around to doing it. Um You know, cause my plan was to put up games that maybe people haven't heard of and um you know, so I can play them and talk about them and that and I've just not done it. My I've still got a um do my, my collection video, which is um, which I need the bearings out of the house for a good few hours, 
I mean, I've done my, my limited collector's sets, right? So that was my kind of first part of it. And my next video, which I was going to take my stuff downstairs, which my camera and my, my lights downstairs to the dining room, because I wasn't going to bring all my, you know, whatever it is, 200 and odd, 300 games upstairs here, because that would take me forever. So I was going to film it in the dining room, as they're on the shelf, take them off the shelf, and talk about each one, and talk about each game if I played it. That was my idea, you know, and the video might have lasted an hour, an hour and a half. So I'm going to need a couple of hours free. Because it probably, I'll probably yabber on and I'll probably edit a wee bit, but it's still going to be a long video. Um, so I am planning on doing that. That's still definite. Um, it's like I said, it's just trying to get a free house for a couple of years, which is kind of impossible. Um, and well, it's my house anyway. Um, aye, so there's that. So that's it out the road. And like, I've not really been active at all on YouTube. Not that I've not wanted to. I've not lost interest. It's just a case that I think... I think other things just come, come ahead. They're, they're tired, they're shattered. Like, I've got young kids and they don't... Sometimes they get doing sleeping in their bed till 9, 10 o'clock at night. And then that's when you've got time to yourself. So my wife might watch stuff that I've, she's recorded. I might, I might end up watching stuff I've recorded on, my, on the Virgin. Or vice versa, but you want to relax and or play GTA 5. Um, so I'm not being then going into YouTube and watching videos and commenting. You go through phases, don't you? I mean, you go through, that's what I think anyway. Um, so I apologise for if, if you've made videos and I've not watched them or commented them, I will get round to you guys. You know, I've, I've got my favourites and I usually go back and watch their previous videos. Um, I have started a new channel. Um, Mick Ready 3 Now I, I made this up about a year ago and I had ideas of what I was going to do with it and it was going to be a Scottish theme to it and I had it in my head that I was going to do these kind of one minute history lessons about Scotland right because as you all know we invented everything okay we invented fucking everything um, but you know we did invent a lot um, which is just about everything and I was just going to go through, and that's what I did in my head, my head was going to be like, you know, to highlight these special people and just keep it one minute. And I never ever done it, and I thought, oh, I had a couple of ideas for videos, but it was beyond that, to keep it going, to keep it interesting. Know that it appeals to gamers, but it was a, so it appealed to somebody. Um, but what I have got, I've got maybe five, six videos up there at the moment, um, and it's um, small clips of a Scottish... Um, comedy called Still Game. Um, if you've watched it, you'll know it's um, Jack and Victor, and um, they play old characters, and it's about their life, really. It's, it's a comedy, though, eh? And every single time they go into the Clansman, which is their local pub, they take the, the Mickey, the, the Bobby the Barman, okay? Um, so that's, I've got a couple of videos up, and that's it's each clips for that, just taking them, the mitten, what they say to Bobby the Barman. Um, and my idea is then to go through. All the, all the episodes and put them up and then, you know, go into other things that I find funny. Whether it will then venture it into non-Scottish stuff that I find funny, it might do. Um, at the moment it's just kind of still game and my idea is then to go down and find some of my favourite Billy Connolly clips um, and stuff like that and put it up. It's not there to, I know it's, I'm putting TV shows and that up there but I'm no I'm trying to make money or anything like that. It's just another... Um, side hobby, I suppose, because I find them um, these things programs extremely funny, and I'm sharing them. Um, like I said, whether it goes out into other things, and I maybe use it for when I'm what I talk about movies or DVDs and and that kind of stuff, because you know, because I'm a big movie fan and I'm a big um, TV fan. Granted, it's a lot of American stuff I watch, um, but you know, I'm a big sci-fi fan. I love everything science fiction. Um, it might, I might go down there. I might talk about that. I mean, talk about books. You know what I mean? I love um, I'm even sci-fi. But yeah, I'm right now. I'm reading the uh, Games of Thrones, one of the second book, eh? Um, and that's kind of fantasy, and I like that kind of stuff as well, eh? So, Mick Radio Three. You want to give a wee visit? Have a wee visit. Have a look if you want. I would appreciate it. Um, if it's not for you, that's fine. That's, you know what I mean? Because, look, 
I've said this before, you know, these YouTube channels are, are for yourself, eh? Um, and it's, it's about reaching out and meeting like-minded people. Um, so it's not going to, my other channel is not going to appeal to everybody. Um, you know, because a lot of these guys just want to see, they're watching me because of the 360 pickup, so it's just fine because that's what I love. I love collecting 360 and you want to see that, which is fine because um, you might not be interested in Scottish comedy. Um, which is great. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> I've said fine about a million times, haven't I? Um, aye, so... Is that it? Still clicking to the Xbox 360. That's no changing. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's no... My, my passion for it isn't waning off or, or anything like that. Some months I buy loads, some months I didn't buy as much. That's just the way it goes. I mean, but I am still planning on going for the, the full collection. That's... That's not changed. Um, you know, I know that I'm going to be um, excited when the new consoles come out. I'll get that excited feeling. I'll be thinking, oh, maybe I should get one. But I'm no, like I said, I'm no planning on getting any of them on day release. So that's, you know, what I mean, I know that I'm old enough now to, I'm big enough to, you know, I'm not be putting myself in any kind of debt or putting it on my, one of my cards or whatever just to get it because I'm no... I don't need it. I don't need to get it on day, day one, eh? Um, I can hold back quite easy. If we have got a new, sh a new shop or a new store, it's opened up in one of my local towns. I passed it and I saw games in the window and I went, oh, what the heck is this place? Went in and there was computers set up along one wall and on the other wall there was couches and there was a PlayStation 3, an Xbox 360 and a, a Wii U. And end up. I spoke to the boy, and what the what he's doing is he opened up the place, and um, he charges you for playing, and it was four pound. If you want to play it for one hour, it's four pound, and then I think it, if it went up, you get it a, a wee bit cheaper, eh? Um, and I thought that's fantastic. That's great because he's planning on getting um, Xbox One. He, he's pre-ordered Xbox One with all the launch games, PlayStation Four, but all the launch games. I haven't even. Um, seen a Wii U yet, I've not played a Wii U so I'd say that would be interesting to actually come and have a wee shot of that but I'll definitely be going in and trying the Xbox One and the Playstation 4 um, so hopefully this guy's a successful I went on during the week and it was obviously nobody was there but um, the guy showed me at the weekends it's packed out with the youngsters eh? which is great because I want it to be a success um, you know, because I love gaming, and you know, to see a gaming place like that, I'd, I'd like to see it work. Um, and like I said, he's got all the PCs, so he's um, he's got he play the games through Steam, and he's got a catalogue of three hundred games through Steam, um, and they've all, and it's all headsets and that, so um, superb. So that's good. It was in my local town, my local um, I. High Street as it is, and um, so at least I'm going to be able to play these these new systems when they come out. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I would have liked to be other videos up here, but you know, sometimes it's nice just to talk and to, and to keep us updated. And um, aye, that's it. I'm I'm trying to yabber on. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say, and you know, to take this opportunity to say it um, in front of camera. Um, you know, I will get back to all these guys that are asking me questions and contact you. I'll get, I'll get back to you. I'll try and answer all my comments. I didn't try and leave it too long because I hate that. I hate the fact that you get guys that didn't answer their comments. That didn't, they can't be asked. Clicking on a comment and saying thanks. Thanks. That's all it takes sometimes. You know, because some people might go, oh, some really nice games you picked up there. Thank you very much. That's all it takes sometimes, eh? And why would they not do it? There's just certain people seem to be selective. I will answer you and I will answer you, but I'm not going to answer you guys down there. I don't know why. You know what I mean? Because there is some bigger guys out there, and I appreciate the fact that there's some big guys out there. Um, I don't know name any name, but there's one one big guy I watch whose channel is quite big now. Um, does a video every Friday, um, and he always answers every comment. Well, he answers my comments anyway. But sometimes it's a week later. But then if he's getting a hundred comments, he's got to reply to a hundred people. You know what I mean? And, and some people are only getting maybe 10 comments and only replying to two. I like to answer every single comment, even if it is just, thank you man, thanks for watching, cheers pal, or whatever it is. Um, 
so I will get room to, and if I've missed anybody with past videos, I apologise, because sometimes I will go back and look at them videos and go, oh, I've missed one there, I've missed one there. I really should do it right away, but um, I tend to put it off and think I'll do it the night when I go home. And like I say, the days goes into, you know, a week, and the week goes into two weeks, and I think that's it. I've even got a pile of retro stuff here. You know what I'm reading there a video for? Um, we've got Mega Drive games and a PlayStation games and Xbox and strategy guys over there. And, um, I need. To, I've got days coming up soon, so I'm going to get it all done and get it all filmed up and get some regular videos up again. Um, I'll just leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, the next time. Cheers.